What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. For the last few days, I have not been able to post any contents for you guys because I was not keeping well. I just recorded from a bad fever and today onwards, you will be seeing some interesting contents for sure. This month seems to be great for the Galaxy phone users because One UI 8 Beta has arrived on many older devices as well. And I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. My wife has been using this phone for the last few months and it's been doing great. And uh, finally, we have got the One UI 8 Beta. So I told her that we will be testing one UI 8 beta on this phone and I hope that nothing is going to go wrong with this device because this is her primary phone by the way. Now anyways let's go ahead let me just open these settings here I will tap on software update and tap on download and install as you can see I have got the beta right here because I have already enrolled for one UI 8 beta to enroll it all you need to do is just go to members application and uh, on members okay let me just open this again open members application and here you will see beta program uh, it's appearing here on top but uh, if you have not enrolled it you will have to go all the way down you will see that uh, same banner here and just tap on that banner you will get this option here to join just tap on this since i have already joined uh, this is the page i'm seeing once you tap on this join button you will be joining the one ui 8 beta now once that is done just go to the settings and tap on software update and tap on download and install and you're good to go you will get the uh, update right here as you can see the size is huge it's 3181.18 mb the version number is zyhb and this comes with the september security patch level as well which is important to note here now what we're going to do is we are going to quickly take a look at how the device is performing after the update we have already seen all the new features on this device i have already discussed about it on the channel if you have missed those videos i will link them up in the description now before i install this let me tap on all changes here this is the list of changes we have got let's compare this with the a uh, screenshot that I've taken when we got the One UI 8 on the Galaxy S20 uh, uh, 5 series. So let's quickly compare this and see if all the features are available here. We've got productivity, easier file sharing with QuickShare, uh, easily find downloaded files. We've got redesigned Samsung internet, more convenient AI select. Under multitasking, we've got enhanced display support, uh, enhanced split screen view. Under reminder, we have got all these three features. And then we have got calendar, uh, both features are available. Modes and routines, we've got the same. We've got Samsung Health, similar features. Communication, we've got improved profile cards, review recorded calls and contacts. Here it also says voicemail. Can't answer right now. The new voicemail feature allows callers to leave a voice message that you can listen uh, to later. But this seems to be not uh, seen on the change log here. This was the initial change log that we got. So it's not showing up right here. And then we have got camera, swipe up or down uh, to open quick controls. We have got it on the S23 uh, series as well. Security and privacy, enhanced secure folder, enhanced secure folder. Accessibility, we have got four of them and four of them here. And then we have got even more improvements uh, where we have got easily connect AuraCast broadcasts, enhanced alarm groups, uh, get quick support and revamped weather visual. So all these are the same, the same change log that we have, uh, which we got on the Galaxy S25 uh, series. But later Samsung did add many other features as well, uh, which we will see if it is available on the Galaxy S23 series or not. Now let me just go ahead and install this update. I'll tap on install and let me come back to you guys in a bit. All right, now the phone has been updated. There is no green line luckily on my device. Now, before we go ahead, let me tell you that we have just pushed out a brand new update for the Volvo's application where we have added a brand new feature. If you go to the profile, you will see this new option layout under which we have got grid options. By default, we have got two. If you increase it to three, this is how the wallpapers will look. More wallpapers will be visible in a single page. So the grid size has been added on Volvo's. Go ahead and check it out. If you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and download it. Every day we keep refreshing the wallpapers. The link is in the description. Now let me open a few applications here and let's see how the device is performing. Let's begin with the uh, phone app, camera, We've got clock, gallery, let's open messages, recent application. As you can see, the animation seems to be pretty good without any issues. It's uh, it's not lagging or stuttering at all. Let me close all, let me open the quick panel now. As you can see, there is no lag at all, lag or status at all on the quick panel. Uh, looks like the phone is performing pretty well. I just used it, uh, used it for a few minutes after the update and it looks like it is doing pretty well without any issues. So I think you can go ahead and join beta. It's still open. I just checked today and I enrolled this device today itself, even though it was released yesterday. So the beta program might be still open for you guys. Go ahead, enroll yourself. It looks like the phone is usable, stable. 
without any issues. All the new features have been already discussed in my other videos. Of course, there is no now brief and uh, a couple of more features will be missing on the S23 Ultra. Maybe I will make a separate video on the missing features. But otherwise, as we compare the change log, more or less all the features are available for the S23 Ultra. That's about it. Let me know whether you have got the update or not. Drop a comment. How is your device performing? How is the battery? I'm pretty sure the battery performance will improve with this update. Let me know how is your device performing. Drop a comment. That's about it. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Give this video a like if you find this video informative. Download the Volvo's wallpaper application. The link is in the description. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.